Rakir along with Rakir. And welcome back to the Legacy of Cain Blood Omen 2. And hopefully this game shouldn't be as much of a pain in the ass. Uh, I looked around online a bit so with PC Gaming Wiki for some things that should make it more stable. But if it will be, will have to be seen. And if the game still gets to crashing all the time, I'm just going to say if it crashes three times in a stream, then I'm calling the stream there. Just for yeah. everyone's sanity. Yeah, that, that, that depends how often. Three, like, is it is it like three crashes in a row right off each other? That's just plain annoying. But it's... if it's like a crush after every 50 minutes or something like that, yeah. Drive on, what's going on? Yeah. Again, we got here from last more... time. Oh, yeah. Here. Hold on. Find the pixelation now. Give it to me. I have no money. Cut your ears off. Took it from me already. Slit your cheek. Okay, just deal with this guy so we can get some weapon. Use. Yeah, you can tell that Kane is classy because he can, he bothers to wipe his face. Oh yeah, we need to keep holding this, and apparently the club is in a spot where I just can't pick it up. You call that classy? Well, as classy as can be in these times, and get the fuck out of the way. Are you? Out of the way. <laughs> the other guy running away. In this game, I really love what you just did. <laughs> uh oh. Let's see, what was it again? Yep. Oh, I, I need a weapon to stealth kill. Okay. I do Having to button mash to come. Come on already! <sighs> what the heck? Close. Don't wait because it's a piece of trash. Actually, there is one thing I'll have to check if it's worked. Oh. Now it this needs to refine the game again. Yep. There it goes. Now, let's see. Control, shift, escape. Details. Game. Set affinity. Ah, there we go, yeah. Apparently, this game freaks out if you, if you play with multi-processors. Uh, so, we're forcing it to only use one should Emphasis on the should make it work better. Again, that is a big ass should, all capitals underlined, emboldened, and cursive. <laughs> I have a funny comic book that the most hated of them all is the one that gave us the most trouble. Yeah. The other games were a pain in the ass to get started. But at least once they got started, they stayed started. Yeah. yeah. And I think that one of them only crashed once. Yeah. Now those two idiots are at the gate again. Uh, screen share, please. Yeah. I keep forgetting that that dies as long as that. Blood Omen 2, go live, back to the game, and I would keep my mouse trapped now. I can see uh, your mouse. Come on, 
let it go so I can remove the task manager. There we go, just move that to the side. There we go. Oh, now you're now you're okay with someone being murdered by someone by their blunt by their bare hands. Probably know what will happen if you don't take them all away from the gate. Yeah. Okay, now this should work. And <laughs> home run. <laughs> oh, right on the campfire as well. Oh, hello, what was that? And... Okay. okay. There was some sort of magic. What the? <laughs> yeah, she was trying to crawl away into the fucking wall. Uh. And... Okay, <laughs> just, just suck this blood straight from her spine. I missed that, because it suddenly... Turned it off for me, so I had to cl click the video camera again. Okay, the dagger again, but that's a lot less interesting than just uh, the castration club, as I'll call it. Yeah, it may be the earliest weapon, but bloody heck, with bloody being literal, okay, it's a brutal weapon points. in this game. Yeah, good idea. It's... Can I make that jump? Or is this more of a case of that I need to explore up and down again? Nothing here. Oh, we do not want to touch the water. I, I just do not like that. Get, I don't. Not even sure if it would count as a scream. What do we have here? See, am I actually getting experience from killing them or from draining them? Because I'm. Okay, I think I saw the purple move a tiny bit there. I did not see it move there. Or there. And... Okay. I'm, I'm just going to leave that it's... Uh, yeah, since he was just a, a peasant, probably wouldn't have given any experience anyways. But, oh, hello there. Yeah, You'll be a good example. About, I think it was talking about every new enemy groups a bit more. Like, if an enemy not faced before, it be new, uh, grows more or something. Okay, I did see it move again there. Yeah, and as well, the photo itself has grown. Yeah, it needs a lot more now. Oh wait, are you telling me the bot will grow every time you fill it up? Yeah, ot otherwise it wouldn't really be a good leveling system if you could just grind the same amount of idiots to get uh, a level every time. Okay, okay. Thing running smoothly from the looks of it. Zero drop frames. Just and club. Again, um, I do have to say, they did animate it rather well, at least for this time period. Yeah. It's just a shame that a lot of other areas, they've dropped the ball a lot. But yeah. that might that might have been, in part, uh, budget constraints or technical limitations of the platform they were working with. Or yes, maybe well, they just gave this to a secondary team. Possibly, and also don't forget, it was released one year 
after yeah. the R1. Yeah, short development times usually don't go very well. Yeah, unless you work, you know, both games at the same time, but that would also mean that you're either very confident or very arrogant. Yeah. Oh, hello there. So much for an... Oh, hello. Oh, uh, here, you're not going anywhere. Or maybe you are. I think it's just playing a hard to catch. Die, fool. Oh, come on, Kane. You can't be that slow. Okay, just filling up. Uh, uh, this is Kane. Even before he just went uh, full vampire tyrant, he was still powerful. So him just him taking that long to get back up, yeah, that doesn't fit. Uh, that doesn't feel right. You could, of yeah. course, argue that he has been weakened from those two hundred years of slumber. Yeah, but then but I have another yeah. question: Where the hell did they stick him for two hundred years? Yeah, I don't doubt he was in that bed for 200 years. Yeah. I very much doubt the bed would even have lasted 200 years, let alone a single century. Yeah, some club can last long if the conditions are right. <laughs> Okay, come up. Stop. Okay. So the stick with you guys is probably that. Uh, is that they are a lot more speedier, of course. And harder to grab as such. Now, where is the. Uh, there, see cables here. Yeah, I'd say this game do actually make some very really interesting enemies with interesting looks that are unique. You can also be some place for. However, I do have the question, why put crossbow ammo quiver on your shim? Just why? Yeah, if it were on the the upper leg, then it would make some, make, make some sort of sense. Yeah, oh, but, well, realistically, you don't have the quivers on your back normally, you have it on your hip. The only thing you have it on your back is when, if you're marching. But if you're all for combat, uh, get ready for combat, you put your quiver on your hip. It's easier to pull out an arrow from your hip than from your back. Yeah, ah, here it is. Uh, so yeah, putting on your shin uh, make maybe sense if you're supposed to be kneeling and you being a bit the sneaky assassin shooter or something. Yeah. Uh, Otherwise, in a town, like, yeah, uh, I don't know. Um, okay, I, for <clears throat> I just realized that I forgot to edit the data a bit, but only in that I didn't add a number to this stream. So, yeah, okay. this is the second time that we we're streaming this. Uh, that's a that's a better oversight than completely forgetting to change to a different game. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, you're. Okay, I did not see her there. You didn't? No. Uh, okay, hello there. I was to ask uh, what the heck you were doing. But Apparently, getting shot in the me. back. Yeah, you got shot. In the back three times. <laughs> okay, if you were to if you were to capture a s screenshot of that, it would look more like Kane was spitting blood at a, a victim, <laughs> like some sort of like that uh, spitting snake or something. <laughs> Okay, this time I can't get ambushed like this. Since he didn't get away. Let's try this again. Oh, 
I think I just remembered something about this game. And that is? I think this is one of the games, if not the only game, where you can get the, uh, get armor sets. Okay, we haven't really had an inventory system yet. We've been able to pick up a weapon, but armor not so much. Yeah, I really hope he gets to have his uh, the plate armor he had the early on in the game. Yeah, most other games he basically wear nothing. Yeah. So, uh, nothing in regards as armor, except for his boots. He always seems to value his shims. Okay, now where is that going? Oh, over here. Yes, uh, so does not feel like a uh, trend. The assaulting always with that character's shims. Well, uh... A certain Greek hero learned the hard way what happens when you do not cover your shins. Wasn't that at his heel? Yep. That's literally where the term Achilles heel comes from. <laughs> Yeah, there was more of his murderous fault for she had to, to hold him somewhere. Yeah. But still, you'd think you'd put some at least a shoe over that. Yeah, then again. I'm sure if he knew it himself. Mm. That or they he should invest it on proper armored boots and yeah, Greece were not really known for that kind of boots at that time. Yeah. More like sandals and such. Yeah. That's Jim Garth though. They had that, but yeah. Oh. <laughs> and now she stops caring. She walks over to the corpse, checks it out, probably steals its wallet, uh, calls for the guards and just gets back to her normal day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to Nasgat. Every day sucks, every night sucks even more. Yeah. That, that would be your serious oh, they were sure they the look at gang punks. Finally, let's punks to the deal with. Stop running. Okay, this is going to get annoying real quick if enemies can just run out of our attack range as we swing. Unless they yeah. get stuck on something like that. Um, and I just realized the size of that crossbow. Is that an arbalest? I couldn't tell. <laughs> There's a cat somewhere nearby. If I remember right, I think the arbalest is the biggest crossbows you can carry by hand. Okay, that, the. The width of that thing is like half her own health, <laughs> health height. Yeah, that makes probably obelisk. They are basically very heavy crossbows that are powerful enough to pierce most plate armor, at least the lower quality ones. I thought base every well everything except from um, light or repeating crossbows should be strong enough to get through plates. With, yeah, a, but, with a sharp enough tip at least, or hard enough, more like. Yeah, but a, a crossbow bolt can still glance off a plate armor if it's well made enough and if you miss fire, miss a bit badly, but with an obelisk, that may get stuck. Thanks, Leo. Can I get someone over here to see what the execution looks like? Oh. Can I shake you, or are you just completely aggroed to me? Okay, I could actually, I actually lost him, and okay, he's poking around to try and find me, okay. I have to say that the AI is decently <laughs> intelligent, <laughs> okay. I feel like they, the crystal dynamics always try to push the boundaries with it. Face and image and all that. I, I am applauding. I am applauding that. Well, with <laughs> with Kane's facial animation earlier, it looked like he was sniffing all the time. Uh, yeah. 
I do feel like they spent more time on making it look good compared to gameplay control. Yeah, good for the time, that is. Yeah, point taken. It's going to save at each and every one of these. And hello. Oh. I think this might be the time when you were supposed to go to. Might be. Let's see. Let's go have a pint. <laughs> yeah, I doubt they'd save the last pint for Kane. Uh, wait, hold on, hold on. Uh, oh, mm. sir, a moment of your time. You know me. I was uh, instructed to look for you. Yes, yes, sir. I am a friend of the Cabal, sir. One of many in the city. I am here to assist you. And do so by all means. The smuggler's tunnel you seek is hidden in a cavern underground. The thieves enter by way of the church outside, but there is no entrance there for any but themselves. You, sir, must go beyond the church and find a lift. This will take you underground. Where precisely is this lift? In a collapsed section of the district beyond the church. The church, remember, sir, is forbidden to all but the thieves. The guards there will attack you, should they but lay eyes on you. I will be most careful. Help! Somebody help me, please! Guards, call the Seraphan! Okay, the hell? Uh, I was just to say, there's a famous painting on the wall that you just walked to first. That oh, one. there, th that, actually, that... That's not a Van Gogh, it is Dutch though. Uh, the lady what? with the silver earring or something? Or this lady with earring? Okay, I did not expect that one to be Dutch of all things. I, I think it is. I'm not good with memory or art. Uh, but the era that this painting is from, I would consider a good era from Mart. Or may maybe it's just because most modern art just looks like a toddlers have been sketching on something and somebody uh, went a bit continued on with it the, from there uh, it depends on which one I mean if you talk about manga and anime and all that that's good art yeah that not the that's not the type of art I'd say but more like paintings and stuff and sculptures yeah when they say men, when men use terms modern art they, I know they usually prefer that what weird a square with a dot on. Yeah, or that painting that's just a few black lines and colored squares. Like, okay, if that's if you like it, okay, but don't compare that to fucking Rembrandt and such. Yeah. Also, the eyes on these characters look a bit too big. They, they look like either they're high or from an anime. anime. Yep, yeah, I feel like. They on the villagers, they went bad on. They, they went full on on well on you, the main characters, and the villains. But the villagers and peasants, yeah. yeah. And you just not realize after to see him up close that he actually has a mustache along his face that actually made it worse. But he looked, it helped him look like a pitch man. Yeah. Chain does look good, or at good for the time, at least in the hello. Yep, fire arrows, okay. I haven't really seen yet what they mean with the enemy looking tired when you can grab them. I think I seen it once. Or maybe the game is just too dark on my end for that to notice much. It looks very bright to me. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a, again a difference, but that, again that might be because of I have this shining in on it to add more contrast in light and dark. Let's see. Got more thugs. But yeah, that painting, I only know the painting is famous because I've seen it many times, especially in meetings for some reason. It's also in Animal Crossing. It is? Yep. 
Speaking of, I haven't played that in a few days. <laughs> Good uh, for you! You're on a road for auto recovery. Hmm. Let's see, we have a movable box. We have a fence and a checkpoint behind it. So yeah, that's pretty obvious. We need to punch that thing up there and... Okay, that must be the church. Actually a pretty small church from the looks of it. That makes you a surprise? Uh, mo usually churches... Uh, well, it is still h higher than most of the surrounding buildings, but usually churches are like... Uh, an extra story or two bigger. Oh, you sweet innocent child! You should come to Sweden! They are even smaller than that one! They're on the ground? On the ground. <laughs> on the ground. Not under the ground. Yeah. What do we have here? Then have you some of the things we call chapel. Yeah, we, have two we, have, we do have a small, small such as and a big one at the, the yeah the big uh, marketplace. Here we go. I wonder if we can actually take these guys out with stealth attacks because they are obviously stronger. Oh, uh, hello there, and goodbye. Right here. Okay, it loses a bit of strength because the the head just falls off to the side instead of just getting battered <laughs> across the freaking <laughs> graveyard. But still, that is pretty satisfying to pull off. Uh, so this, if they remaster this one, so it is actually actually smoother to play and more fun to play. I would definitely hope that they actually allow you to see the head fly off and hit a wall or something. Okay, three hit combo and again, don't. Okay, that. Did he. Okay, we. we... Oh, hello. Something I'm only now noticing. I think my weapon is taking damage. Oh, I think you're right. Oh, yeah. that one was not red before. Yeah. And yeah. I cannot grab this guy. You can uh, grab his weapon, he's dead. Yeah. But you can have an actual sword now. Oh, oh I, I was still in combat mode, so I couldn't drink. Being okay. Better. But I'm, I'm guessing that means that if you block with a weapon, it starts to lose durability. That does make sense for some weapons, or... Yeah, you... you when in combat, it's usually better to dodge than parry. Yeah. Or parrying too much with a weapon... ...can break it, dull it and all that. Sure, it's, it is a tactic, you can do it. Just... Don't blindly rely on parrying, just for the coolness point. For that's just gonna ruin your weapon. Yeah, and it, it, if if you miss a parry, then you're the one who's left wide open. And there was a, an assassin in here, or er, er, headed in here. Yeah, and also, if you have a shield, use the damn shield. Yeah. I think you see in some movies and games where they have a shield and sword, or another weapon along with shield, and still use the weapon for powering and not the shield. And it buggers me without new end. Okay, so you motherfuckers can go invisible. It would make some sort of sense that invisibility magic would pop up sooner or later. And it would help keeping them secret, of course. Oh, well, that is, that's the Vampire Lord, or one of yep. the Vampire Henchmen. Yep, and I noticed something about those 
Key for guys, eyes and eyebrow. Yeah. They did not look human. Yeah, they're probably vampires. Not... I... I think they are something else than vampires. Maybe no. ghouls? I think they're Hildred, I mean. Red, I mean. <laughs> Not my fault that your name is similar to theirs. And... What kind of gap? Somebody help me, please! They're basically janitors or... Yeah, they look like janitors or some kind of... Uh... Maintenance. Yeah, I want to say Imperial Guards, to talk about that line, but yeah. Okay. What is that actually supposed to do? Because I'm not seeing the, the purple bar going up any with that. Is it the, the blue bar up top? Might be, but that one has been getting uh, a bit up. See, I think that was a rage meter or something. Hmm. Oh, hello there. Let's see, and we thought we do this. That opens that up, and then the <laughs> easiest solution ever. This is basically a security camera without the actual camera. <laughs> Hello there. Uh, let's go for the bigger target and let's see what this does for a kill. Oh! <laughs> Okay, just shove the entire thing through, huh? And not e not e not even with the blade horizontal, <laughs> but that would that would have pierced through this uh, the spine and the skull, and would have had to go through the jaw at least one jaw as well, or just disembowel them. <laughs> So there are mo there are different animations for these. Okay. Uh, wait, I think I know why. The yeah. other guy has full armor. That actually makes sense. And okay, now we're now we're going to get into <laughs> a tug of war with the door. <laughs> okay, how do I lure you out then? Okay, let's see this. Nice point of uh, detail, if that is the case. Yeah. Let's see, what is this? Steam? Punk? Rat? What we mean, um, there you're brewing. Is that steaming them out? Oh. Wait, why did why did he turn green? I think you're right about steaming them, but well, yeah, why green? Unless you steam them with sewers? Oh wait, no, then no, then they would still not be green. Just an oddity for now, then. Let's see. Yeah, but then again. That's painful! Yeah. There's a reason why people weren't, you know, shouldn't stand uh, near steam trains when they'd be leaving. Because those clouds can kill if, well, not anymore at least, but in the old days, those steam from steam trains could do a lot of damage. I did not know that. What? Okay, so it just changes the animation randomly with some, anim with some weapons. Huh, alright, now I'm a bit disappointed. There are quite a lot of games though that do have small different details like that. 
and typically it's considered in uh, the trope is typically called developer foresight and uh, yeah TV tropes has quite a long list of games that have a lot of things that you don't think the game the developers would have thought of but <laughs> nothing down there so is there anything down here are we going to get into the tug of war with this again nope well you did boil him it's well scald it. him or something this makes me one thing, uh, thing here i hope people uh, get better we do in future more water magic that involves hot water like steam <laughs> Like, come on! How painful does it sound like uh, they, they do you just throw a ball of boiling water at your enemy? Yeah, to scald them. Yeah. Do you see a fine water? Oh, you just walked ah! Screaming over how hot it is. <laughs> okay, just straight up and bail them, okay. Seems a bit odd. Some At times the combat to keep in. To go into combat, it seems like you have to hold, and sometimes to switch, that it switches. Yeah, um... Can you see or something? Yeah, oh! So what's the only weapon he makes uh, it glow black and purple? Is it channeling magic to the sword? Uh, maybe that's from... Wait, did that door close? Oh, it's probably swap. No, did not not swap those. Okay, a bit of a puzzle here then, because we don't want the the steam on the <coughs> the st st on the ladder. See, is this a temporary opener then? Okay, go quick, pull this, and. We should be able to run back then. Okay. Don't really see what happened different than the first time. Uh, <coughs> uh, that might have been from the weapon box. That it somehow strengthened the weapon without really notifying us. Well, it it imbued it visibly imbued it with purple stuff, and not the stuff from the fridge. Okay. Well, that, that, that would make sense. Or I thought we would start to wonder if uh, Kane is a piece of a spell sword. Yeah, technically any vampire can be a spell sword. Or it's <laughs> more likely. <laughs> okay, that's the first time that we've seen that happen, I think. And the game has been pretty stable so far. So maybe the one processor uh, change is working. And yeah, that's so the hell is all that green, green, red stuff? Is that all blood? Oh, I recognize well, this. Well, well, our lord was correct. You are alive. Do you remember me, Cain, who served you so well? It was Faustus. One of the legionnaires of my army of vampires. An indifferent soldier, but now a traitor to our race. Faustus, it's true then. I hardly believed it. Vampires have turned against their own kind. What is our kind? In serving the Seraphim, I have protection. I have power. And who better to hunt down a vampire than a more powerful vampire? History is written by the winners, Cain. That is my kind. How many of us have been destroyed by the Seraphim? How many have been brought to their death by you? I care not for those destined to die. I don't weep for them, and I won't weep for you. Look around you, Faustus. Does your victory seem so assured now? A fleeting setback. Our Lord knows of your presence. He beat you before, and he will bury you now. But you will never know how it ends, Faustus. 
For I will bury you first of all. That sounds like there was something missing there. Okay. Okay. I still did my first introduction to this game was to this fight and it, yeah, the guy was only using his face. Oh, oh, yeah, that that confirms it. Dodgy motherfucker. Okay, we're going to have a problem here. Yeah, yeah I can figure see now why I got the Street Fighter vibe or a fighting game vibe in this arena. Okay, that's obviously an unblockable attack then. It is hold again. Okay, do I have do I have to outspeed him on his attacks or something? Oh that I forgot, so I can't help you there. And he somehow missed that. Come on, get back up. Is there some way of dodging that I overlooked or something? Oh, there we go. Hit the jump button. Get back up, old man. Okay, I probably have to dodge one of his big attacks to leave him open. Okay, so block his small attacks and dodge his big attacks. Like I wanted to do there for <laughs> but I missed. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to remember if you got something more you, you had to do to defeat him. I yeah, I'm drawing blanks here. We are <laughs> we are all doing almost no damage to him. Okay, the yellow attack leaves him doesn't leave him open. Or the golden attack, whatever. Wait, blocking f is filling the the blue bar. Uh, what was that again? Some sort of rage, fury. Oh, okay, that. Uh, if there was an explanation for this, then I completely missed it. So have I. Hmm. Oh, he remembers the skill now at least. Yeah. Okay, that keeps filling the bar. I <laughs> just <laughs> smack him across the freaking room. Yeah, it does take quite good damage, actually. Yeah. yeah it's better than before. That, if that is going to be the entire trick to beating this guy's ass... Okay, there's more to it. <laughs> Okay, come on, dude. Ventrilo Ventriloquism was so Soul Reaver 1. <laughs> okay, what is this su surprise then? 
Come on. Or, or did he just piss off or something? I'm not seeing any way to get up. If we are supposed to chase after him. But there is a door open. Oh, here. For me, this was just a black uh, window. Oh. Ah, uh, that's why I was pondering on. I knew there was something. Okay. Okay, it's obvious that we need to catch him while he's on top of one of these. What are we supposed to do then? Hmm. Are we supposed to pick up one of these and throw them back? I didn't see an in a chance to pick it up. And it's dead. And, and crash. So much for it. Well, it, it was more stable, but now it's just being unstable in different ways. Yeah, and it fell off my screen. Yeah, it, it killed the game, so of course it stopped sharing it. Oh, so it killed the game instead of... Uh... Yeah. All right, that... And that clang sound is going to get so annoying. Now we're going to have to sit through his talk again. Yeah, I did not find a way to skip these cutscenes. Just to be sure, I might as well look now. Well, well, our Lord was correct. You are alive. Do you remember me, Ken, who served you so well? It was Faustus, one of the legionnaires of my army of vampires. An indifferent servant, but now a traitor to our race. He looks very. It's true, then. I hardly believe it. Vampires have turned against their own kind. What is our kind? In serving the Seraphim, I have protection, I have power. And who better to hunt down a vampire than a more powerful vampire? History is written by the winners, Ken. That is my kind. How many of us have been destroyed by the Salafam? How many have been brought to their deaths by you? I care not for those destined to die. I don't weep for them, and I won't weep for you. Look around you, Faustus. Does your victory seem so assured now? A fleeting setback. What Our is that Lord supposed to reference through? He beat you before, and he will bury you. You will never know how it ends, Faustus. I'm if sure. I, I noticed something odd about Faust. Faustus, but what then? I think he has replaced his upper fangs with golden fangs. Okay. That's something I've never seen of them. How you do replace their own fangs? If this is going to be the, the level of boss fights in this game, then... yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I want not to be surprised that the boss fights were the... I have a the breaking point for some. Half with your cookies. Uh, 
It seems like there is no way to skip cutscenes in the game. I'll, I'll have to check out the PC gaming wiki again. But really, any game that doesn't let you skip cutscenes after you've already seen them once, even if you didn't say if yet, that's just plain stupid. Yeah. I don't think uh, skipping scenes became a normal thing until the year after this game. Yeah, I'm not. I'm seeing nothing here. So, how the hell am I supposed to. <sighs> Oh. Okay, I'll let that one slip because I didn't adjust the game to only use one processor. Wait, you need to redo it every time? Yep. Okay. Get through all of this bullshit. And again, it's just plain stupid to have the game, the saves go like this. Yeah, I thought, I thought they probably thought it was cool back then. And again, as kids, those sounds could be very cool, awesome, or just wonderfully teaseful. Yeah, but base, usually newer saves get put at the top, not at the bottom. And that too. Our Lord was correct. You and before I forget, Do you remember me, Ken, who served you so well. It was Faust, Finity. one of the legionnaires of my army of vampires, an indifferent servant, but now a traitor to our race. Faust, it's true then. I hardly believed it. Vampires have turned against their own kind. What is our kind? In serving the Seraphim, I have protection, I have power. And who better to hunt down a vampire than a more powerful vampire? History is written by the winners, Kay. That is my kind. How many of us have been destroyed by the Seraphim? How many have been brought to their deaths by you? I care not for those destined to die. I don't weep for them, and I won't weep for you. Look around you, Faustus. Does your victory seem so Yeah, there really now? is something missing I'm here. Setback. Our Lord knows of your presence. He beat you before, like I'm supposed to fight soldiers down. before him or something. But you will never know how it ends, Faustus. That or I will bury you first of all. Referring him to be on lock inside the same room as himself. Maybe a little forget. Ah! Actually, if we save here it it actually I Let's just overwrite these saves. That should keep okay. save us the, from hearing the having to hit that clang all of the time. Yeah, but no, that's okay. That's not weird. Kane is arrogant. Yeah. <laughs> I just backhanded him out of his own super attack. I <laughs> could fuck off, bitch. Okay, that attack is very satisfying. And I kind of like the color parrying system a bit. It looks... It looks yeah, it's not... It's, it's blocking, not parrying. Oh, sorry, yeah, blocking. It looks... Organic? Looks more, yeah, organic. It's not just only a cross armor gesture all the time. Controls. I found a PC gaming wiki page for the game again, and let hopefully, if I save here, it will. Well, it uses checkpoints, so it would return us to the start of that fight, anyways. Before I enter here again and get killed again, let's see. Is there anything in here about skip cutscene? Yes. 
finding page. Skip. Nope. There's one. Cannot quit game or uh, skip FMVs. Not, not the in game cutscenes. Okay. Seriously, what do I need to do here? By the time I run over to him here. Or is there. Oh, there is fog here. Okay. Now, what are you going to do? Okay, we're going to have to s sneak. T there's, there's no fog to continue from here. But there is over there, um, in, in the corner, not that corner. Yeah, but, but if I we don't. go like here, it breaks. Is this enough to get through? <laughs> What's this? What's this? That f burning coals up my ass. <laughs> uh, did he? Yes, he jumped to somewhere else. So he is stupid enough to repeat the same mistake. Wait, okay. Yeah, uh, yeah, keep on gloating up there. What's this? <laughs> Burn! Okay, those are do massive damage to him. This is a bit dumb though that he would re well any video game boss is dumb for repeating the same thing over and over whilst getting their asses burned off. Yeah. Okay, he jumped up there. What? Ah, there you are. Okay. He jumps up. There's a lot of rattling. Is he, is he trying to sneak attack us? Bungee jump! Come on, game. The fuck are you? Okay, just Chung Lee kick him in the face or something. Do I really just have to wait for him to pop up? Oh, I see him up top there. Did okay, <laughs> did he just fly over us? Might as well set that back to fury, just in case. And now I have an itch on my ear. Oh. Okay, we have... Yo, I think you only got... <laughs> yeah, a very short window to attack him. Yeah, you're both almost same health remaining. Okay, here he comes. There he goes. And into the fucking wall again. <laughs> like a fucking shrub. Scrub. Why can I never use this? <laughs> I always confuse. Not confused, but I always use shrub and scrub crossed over each other. Okay, there he is. I don't think I've noticed that. 
Dergen, I rarely hear you use that word. To begin with, though. Oh, let's scrub out this asshole. One more. One more. Did I just punch him behind the boiler? Uh, that was not where he was. Or did he just ju try to jump back up there? Okay, and now we, he's a vampire. We need to stake him with something. Or just tear his fucking soul out, okay. But that's Raziel's stick. Uh oh. And what dark gift was that supposed to give us? And okay, I heard it in this direction. Definitely saving now, even. If it the most likely chances that it would just kick us back to the start of the fight. It better That's not, for that will just be yeah, bullshit. Okay, so it's a long jump. Press use gift to target and use dark gift again to activate. Okay. Okay, that is nice. That that is something that Kane had in the original uh, in Soul Reaver. <laughs> that can make for some interesting traversal. And again, <laughs> the loading screen skipped in less than a half a second, not e giving not even me time to read. And I'm a fast reader. And here's Uma Thurman again. Well done, Kane. You have already proven your ingenuity in negotiating the smuggler's den. Perhaps our leader was right about you after all. The leader? Ah, yes. The mysterious leader. Perhaps he will tell me now who he is. I will not name him to you, for secrecy's sake. But it is time that you two meet. You must go to Sanctuary, our headquarters. There you will find our leader. Go here, go there. What do you take me for? Your errand boy. You are not a general now, Kane. You are not in a position to demand. Go to Sanctuary and await me there. My orders are to investigate the industrial quarter in the north of the city. I will join you at Sanctuary and bring anything I discover. Hmm. Need answers, girl. I want the Sarafan Lord. So do we all, Cain. But the time must be ripe, and you must be ready. Do not make the mistake of underestimating me. I don't. You are our last hope. I will not let you be wasted by premature action. Where then is this sanctuary? Nearby is the Red Raven Pub. Speak with the tapster. She will tell you what to do. Why did I obey her? Why did I trust her even for a moment? I had gone my own way, always. But this time... I was impressed by you today, Cain. Soon, we will work together again and rid this plague from our land. Again? I was impressed by you, Cain! <laughs> like, having to... F she'd have to scream that across the freaking street. <laughs> Uh, now I wonder, what is he? He was on a conquest to rule the land. Yeah. And what does a king usually take with him? Uh, besides an army. Hey, up there. A queen, Helian. 
So what if... What if they are trying to ship them or... Um, More like, what if they are already married? Could be. You did say that in the concept arts and such of the game, that they seem to be uh, intimate at the very least. Yeah, and it is. Well, really, it was, I don't think it was the concept, but more like official artwork that they came with the game. Okay, this seems rather modern. <laughs> News. Oh, there are very many French sounding names for their uh, establishment. Okay, almost to another level. I guess Meridian is supposed to be the kind of French like in this world, well, except for that. That sounds uh, a bit Scandinavian, that shop. Gastro board? Well, you can pronounce that letter. Yeah. Uh, it's basically like an, it's an A, an E, but a bit altered. Yeah, a yeah. Castro bug. Here's the thing. That's the Danish version. Our Swedish version of that one is, is an A with two dots over, but it's pronounced the same way. I don't know why our A eh looks so different to the Danish one. Yeah, something yeah, wrong, officer. Know your place. Is something wrong with a man, a man who looks to be in his 90s who can jump three times its own length? Well, it looks a little fit uh, for that age. Yeah. <laughs> like a, a grandpa that could suplex you and get up without a single uh, crack or anything. Though they'd probably crack, make a crack at you, at your expense. Oh dear. I think that that's, I feel like that's a troll. Like Master Roshi and such? Yeah. Oh. Hmm. And we, oh wait, no, Yoda does not count, bro. He looks horrible old. So this is a big ass sign. What even does this say? A burst du roulette? Yeah, that, that, is, <laughs> that is definitely supposed to be French. Can I translate? Uh, no idea. Do means of or the, I think. Yeah, I think it means uh, of. So, auberg, rotre. Yeah, I don't think that means red. Hmm. Could be a winery? Uh, wait, I think you just walked past a bank. Yeah, munis municipal bank that was in the background of the earlier conversation. Alright. Hmm. Where do we need to go? Hmm. But man, they have metal doors. Yeah, that I can't interact with. Oh, jump? Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> if it's going to give us this, then we're going to have to use it sooner or later. And just jump across like a undead you know, Tarzan. I like that. I actually like that. I feel like many games where you have that jumping system, I feel like they need to add that. But I feel like there's many games where that has a similar system like this, that you have to just guess and hope you jump right. Mm. Wrong power here. Can I change mid? Okay, I can cancel that by just changing out the power. Can I? <laughs> okay, we all saw that one coming, but still, <laughs> like, just a black claw appears across the guy's face. I was more interested either in kind of neck snapping or biting the neck. Just not that kind of that that they I mean, it's like, you know, like the, you know, the wrestling move, instead of just grabbing at our head with his hand. Okay. Yep. 
Okay, for sometimes Kane just seems to get stuck in that combat mode uh, with the lock on. No idea what is going is causing that and why are you up? I was not holding the forward button there. Rabbit. The controls might be the I uh, issue in the past, I guess. And this will be just short of another level. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, I feel like in most games that were bad in the past, usually something about the controls, usually, or just a... Yeah, either bad controls, good story, or horrible story, and very good controls. I'm getting called. Uh, was this the right? Yes. Be back in a moment. All right. Okay, and back. Uh, basically, they bought this for me. <laughs> uh, that'll be a snack for after the stream because I'm not going to subject anyone to me having trying to eat something whilst playing this. What was it you got? Says I can't see your camera. Uh, it's a uh, ice cream, strawberry, marinade. I have no idea what that even tra how I'm supposed to translate that or even what it actually is. Yeah, and. Uh, you lost some blood while uh, being AFK. Yeah, we have plenty still, and we can suck someone dry after a bit. Hmm. What? Do that. Yep, that is going to take off the soldier. <laughs> Just like a freaking caveman overhand smasher. <laughs> okay. But that blow is powerful. It's a blow you should not do. It sounds if you could break your own weapon doing that. Yeah, that, that is putting your entire body weight behind it. And are you not going to come up here, <laughs> sir? You know, if, is he going I... to just de-aggro if I lose if he loses sight of me? I have a better idea. <laughs> he stopped giving a fuck. Okay, just just seen a woman murdered in front of him and he stopped caring. Yeah, oh, now you do care. Oh, uh, I... If I got to work rather low on health. And <laughs> I paid for that. <laughs> okay. Oh. Uh, Kane got uh, what he did to someone else earlier, but we're not too far away. Actually, I could probably just ignore these idiots. Well, you do want to earn a weapon. True, and the experience. But let's just see if we can just dodge them like this. Yep. Okay, you're at least somewhat perceptive. Okay, now it. Now it's to toggled again. Mm. Uh, I'm just going to chalk it up to the game being iffy in general again. Yeah. Okay. 
<laughs> just kick him and cause him to vomit out half of the blood in his entire body. Yeah, it's a set of people. Kicking someone in the nuts is a viable and deadly option. There's, there's a lot of blood pressure cells around there. Yeah. So, yeah. Then Kim's just sort of bashing someone with a bat between someone's legs. It's both cruel and tactical. Yeah, and well, he is a vampire, so he's even super strong for it. You said this time you yeah, so home. that's probably a hopefully they won't buy from me and if I won't broken pelvis. What's the use if you drink up the money you make selling to them? It isn't my fault. It's a curse in Seraph and taxes. <laughs> so they've raised the tax on drink again, have they? Okay, that's the end of that. Excuse okay. Me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. Now, where do I need to go next? Because there's another a, barrier here. You just had an interesting concept idea. Kane no. disguising himself as a fruit merchant. <laughs> Good day, sir. <laughs> Today's speciality <laughs> blood apples. Oh, come on. You Did blow a pun? What? <laughs> Blood oranges, lad. Blood <laughs> oranges. Yeah. Oh, wait. What did I have get you? Information. I was sent here by Uma. You have a message for me. I only know what they told me. And just who are they? I don't know, I promise. It, it was dark. I couldn't tell where the voice was coming from. It was as if the night itself spoke to me. It told me to give you the message. Seek the vendor near the warehouse, for he has news for you. Is that all of it? No. If you tell that fool Duncan you work for Duckett's traders, he'll let you through the gate to the workers' area. Duncan? Okay. And I see propaganda posters on the wall. Oh yeah, that's definitely supposed to be German. Go yeah. felt. Yeah, I think there's also some other famous page on the wall there. On the other wall uh, over there. <laughs> I don't think that would be famous, this one. That one, look behind you. Directly back. That wall with the small paintings. Let's see. Wait, those are in those actual nobles and kings and queens. Might be the this one over here, uh, not that one. This one looks sort of familiar. This yeah. one I can't say. Hmm. They look familiar, especially the one you pointed out. Look, the most familiar. It might be mostly the wig. Okay, but let's go find this Duncan then. You Duncan? No. I'm yours. Oh, what's over here? It, it's a door. Can't jump up there because of an invisible wall. Hmm. Now that I think, I think the Soul Reaver games didn't really have invisible walls that you had to deal with. I yeah, only two high walls. Yeah. Another point where fans of the series uh, would be yeah. rather disappointed in this game in. Yeah, but also, this is probably the first game where you are able to talk. No, 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 you, you are able to talk to people probably on the very first game of them all. So I guess it's a bit of a pro, but you can walk to the city and talk to people. Ah, here. Then tell me, who do you work for? I work for Duckett's traders. Now, let me through. I, I do still like 
uh, Kane's voice actor. It's it sounds very much like they have the, the same one. But yeah, they they've just given they've just given him a script with absolutely nothing. Yeah, and here's another thing I, I think I've read talk about the, the one of the issues about the sober I think we, we spoke about before. That many of the voice actors are getting very old. Yeah. Games. It, for, for remakes, they'd have to find uh, people who could imitate their voice, probably. Like uh, like they did with Samurai Jack Season 5, because uh, the one who voiced Aku, I forget his name, uh, he also voiced Iroh from Avatar The Last Airbender. Hello? Yeah, he had passed away by then. Oh. But yeah, either not so much mimic it precisely or at least capture way. the same spirit as the other voice actor. No use crying to me about it. I beg you, let me through. I'll run you through if you don't go your way. Now move on. Okay, th this looks like it's written in a sort of mixture of Greek and Russian or something with the reverse R, the A with the the dash on top of it. Um, I think you said a word wrong there, or I misheard you. What then? I thought you said the perverse R. Reverse. Alright. So I, I was probably the one that is mishearing you. <laughs> there again, we, all, we can always look this up on YouTube later. Okay, there we go. Ah! Yeah, it, it, sounds, it sounds a lot more like. He's he he stubbed his fucking toe on something, then uh, getting a power up. Let's see, pipe. Mm. Kinda. That is inactive, and it leads to the stables. Yep. Okay, how do I get in here? Without horsing around. Oh, of course, we have the jump ability, so the game might as well give us opportunities to use it. I do like that it glows purple when you can actually jump to somewhere to, to land. Yeah, those feel like they've uh, experimented with many new ideas that are very good, actually. This does make me wonder, what is it that made it so infamous? Uh, all of the changes and shortcuts. Hmm. I, it is, I'm not sure if they started this game uh, to be non-canon, but... Hmm, yeah, the, I, the fans just didn't like this to start with, I'm pretty sure, from all I've heard. See the map? Uh, That's you. Yeah, that. Okay, what is what is that doing here? Is this supposed to be Nostros? Did, did they just implant random things as Easter funny Easter eggs? Yep. Uh, one thing that's so blatant, I wouldn't really call a Easter egg. And now, what is this? Oh. Okay, that's one way to close the door, I'm guessing. Yeah, it literally blew a fuse. Yeah, I get the feeling this game was developed by an al an alternate team that didn't really know or understand the franchise as much. And I'm sure for Crystal Dynamics is on the intro uh, sequence. Yeah, but that doesn't mean that the same people 
it, like, a development company can have multiple developing themes in it. Teams in it, not themes. Like, uh, uh, like with football or rugby, there's, of course, always uh, <coughs> a, a, one, a certain core of players. But that doesn't mean that they don't have spares and starts to swoop in. Not the best comparison, but... Hmm. I don't think I get that. Mm, oh, wait. Oh, I think I know why. If my memory says right, the woman who wrote all other stories was absent for this one, possibly. Yeah, that, that could help a lot to not, to go without the original writer. Now, what am I supposed to do here? Or is this thing broken? Is that what it's supposed to mean? Uh, yeah. So I'm going to have to carry it to drag this thing all the way over. And then, I, of course, I can't move it sideways. Yeah. That's that's a no bad knowledge. Like they figured it out with Soul Reaver one, so why wouldn't they be able to do it in here? Yeah. Yeah. It, it, in general, it just feels like they used the B team or something to make this game. Well, well, probably because of uh, the damn deadline. As well, yeah. And we have a deadline, we need an extra team. And yeah, that extra team was not enough. Let's see, that. I have no idea if that's supposed to mean anything. That one does look more like the intermap. So that one might be a bit more correct, hopefully. I th I'm not really sure if this is supposed to be a map or a painting of some sort. Because there's, there's a big opening, a big blank over here, and it, it sort of looks damaged. Hmm. Hmm. Hello you there. The password to enter. Passwords? Come on. Open. Up. Uh, here's my passwords. I have pointy ears. I look like I'm centuries old because I am, because I'm a fucking vampire. You sure? It was pretty big enough there. And his pal in the background there just doesn't give a shit. That or he did. I don't think he noticed due to the angle. Hey, oh, hello there. Uh, I take it it's illegal to drink at night past the curfew, uh, officer? <laughs> uh, I should keep an eye out for those power attacks. Oh, even... Uh, okay, I tried to dodge there. Probably doesn't throw us back too far. Actually, is there anything over here? Nope. Hmm. You need the password to enter. Okay. For you. Only there? Okay. What do we Hey, no, this jackass. Actually, can I just grab. Yes, I. What do we have here? And something I noticed a bit. Okay, you just went down like an absolute joke. If you were blocking with a weapon, it also takes damage. The main reason I think we haven't really noticed that before is because we kept switching weapons. 
and because these broadswords of these guys probably deal a lot more damage as well. Yeah, and probably a bit more durable. Joseph got to. In here, he signed on as a guard. With his rheumatism, can he lift a sword? They didn't try him. He signed on to guard a trade caravan. Gave him a week's wages in advance, they did. Against the bandit attacks? Oh, he won't see home again. Uh, but his Marjorie will get passage to her sisters. It was all he could do for her, now that he lost his shop. Brave man. Okay. Yeah, let's see. What is there all around here? We need to get a password out of someone. Yeah, and I noticed more paintings I've seen before on the poster walls. Is it a big, big fat guy there? Yeah. i seen that one before. Okay. I don't know what for, but yeah, I've seen it before. And I think I also saw a red beer bottle poster. Yeah, it looks like a Jack McDaniels bottle or something. Did you seriously do that just for shits and giggles? Uh, maybe. Uh, is there? Uh, I can't go through there. I do remember, the developers put their own faces on one of the bosses uh, in the first Soulbreaker game. Uh, on the first yeah. Box. Um, stuck walking again. You don't need the extra card, Yo Kane. You're already old enough. And fit enough, because you're cheat. <laughs> Good evening, my friend. Can I help you, sir? Uma sent me. We are to have words, you and I. Ah, uh, you're one of them, aren't you? Whatever do you mean? Never mind. You're looking for sanctuary, then? Correct. It's hidden under the Blue Lady Shop in the eastern part of the district. The guards have blocked most of the streets tonight, so it won't be easy getting there. Rooftops, back alleys, and even the sewers are friends to those that wish to avoid attention. However, those that inhabit them may not be friends to you. The first thing you'll have to do is to get past the gate man down that alley. Give him the password ever night. He'll let you through. My thanks. Okay, easy enough. And there's literally nothing else here? There's literally nothing else here. Except for more... Greek Russian. <laughs> Russian? Okay, a bit of a pointless to have us walk over there and back again. Okay, cat. Was that in game or yours? N in game. <laughs> you sure? Yeah, the doors. And Evernight. Hold on. The door is open, but the cats are absent. No. Hmm. I, I must say that it... Uh, e oh, hello. Oh, uh, uh... Some prisoners for the vampire ho masters. I think they're, they're there for you to heal yourself with. Yeah. And you may need to do that. Uh, let's first get that checkpoint over there. Okay. And uh, I think this will do as well. Uh, no. Save. Yep. As I was saying, as much as I've been well, shitting on this game, it's not actually terrible. It's just it's terrible compared to the quality of the previous games. Yeah, the, the Doom it must awesome things with it, but there is some things that feels off as well. Ah, 
Now, I have played games that would probably be considered far, far worse than this. It's just that the other Legacy of Kane games has set such a high bar that adequate just isn't adequate enough. Yeah. And then he, yeah, as, as, as an example, that when you move a box, why can't you move them sideways? Is just a bit why? Yeah. Let's see, that is where we were before. So down here we go. That's where the world part of needing to relearn all the skills again. Yeah, oh, typical please. bag of spilling uh, sort of stuff. Yeah. Okay. It seems that even though this sword probably should deal more damage, it still takes three hits to kill these guys. <laughs> okay, if we got a screenshot of that, it would it looked like Kane was puking into the corner. Uh, projectile like. Oh, he says we must move all these crates to the other side. I know, I know. He said just to make way for more to come. Greedy bastards were about full already. You see how his head starts to twitch when he talks about money. Oh, the way his eyes glitch. Why shouldn't we? Not like he pays us more than a pittance. You're right. He'll never be the wiser. Uh, typical uh, storage ha or warehouse work. Move box A to spot B, then back to C, back to D. Uh, I've luckily not really. I, I have worked retail, uh, stocking the shelves, but and some extra stuff. But I've luckily not had to work there, <coughs> work storage much. Yeah, I've been in retail as well. But yeah, I never really worked in storage, but I heard so I had know someone that did and they were horrible and many were quitting on that company. Including her. And they stopped trying to convince her to stay due to they knew that they have been horrible, but they refused to change. Yeah, that's what they always say, and then they just try to ensnare you back into place. Yeah, and how do, yeah, you can say this. If you do this in Sweden, you are doomed. For people will, for they notice that people were spreading the new word about this. So of course, no one wanted to join them. Yeah, and that's all sort of, of course, just being an asshole to your uh, workers is just, uh, is just uh, killing your own business, either slowly or quickly, depending on how big of a company you are, yeah, because well, word will spread eventually. Yeah. In USA, they might prevent you to do that. Maybe you like you will have to do it online or something, but in Sweden, word of mouth is enough. Yeah. Um, I think Amazon a few days ago had a, a vote uh, on possibly unionizing, and apparently the vote fell through. But, ap apparently, it's come out that uh, the executives of uh, Amazon have been fucking around with things so much to make people either not attend or make it hard to attend or even just putting down a fake mailbox or something so that, well, votes just plain wouldn't arrive. And, yeah, more than enough for them to dispute the results of that uh, vote and yeah with all of that now done it's pretty clear that everyone who is going to vote now 
is going to vote for the union because if they are fighting that hard not to prevent a union then there's all the sign that you need a union yeah i think mean, i heard that they even showed some traffic lights just to make it harder for people to hand out pamphlets about the vote and all that yeah <laughs> yes traffic lights but they knew that when the workers arrive there's a time there where they have a time to go up to a car and give them the pamphlets before they go to, into the work at Amazon. So they have the chance that just so they could not do that. Uh, uh, but that's, that's typical corruption. Yeah, they, Amazon is a literal billion if not trillion uh, dollar company. And if, uh, to give their workers a decent working environment and just uh, decent health care which is co only cost like uh, a few million or something like a little a little drop in the uh, bucket for them and yeah because they're just plain fucking greedy they would rather spend millions to prevent having to spend millions for others sake yeah and I know, again, in Sweden and many northern countries, that is extremely frowned upon. And that, yeah, you, you can't do that here. For your Easter get discovered, and you still get punished for it. Okay, there's something sparky here, sparkly here. Oh, it's this. Uh, remember, I, my mother had a work that she was a personal assistant on. And they were working the the boat overtime and all that. And she she ended up quitting and she was in an you know, meeting with the old boss and a paid social worker for their their work was under suspicion of her bad, bad yeah, bad work morale and all other things they should not do. And basically the her form boss came in with her own, own, her own husband and her own young child that would not stop crying and started to bullshit talk about her mother in front of my mother and the social worker. And the social worker told my mother that you don't need to stand here and listen to this bull crap. Mm. But the woman was claiming that, oh, eh, 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 you don't do that in our country. like. I don't know where she was from, but she, she spoke like her country's work uh, conditions were superior than the Swedish. This is doubtful when you are forced to work with the work four hours overtime. Uh, yeah, Gre companies being greedy is the prime uh, is, is the prime cause of companies going the fuck out of business. Yeah, and this is a company that's supposed to help elderly people. Uh, you hear problem? How do you help the elderly when your own workers are burnt out? Okay, and yeah, some sort of puzzle here. She, if I remember right, she lost her company because of that. Yeah, as should be. What am I supposed to do here? This is supposed to go up, I presume. Uh, how do I move it up? I can only move it side to side like this. Uh, and for, for, for people watching, I'm not gonna name the company for. I'm not that low. And it's in the past now, so better let it rest. Yeah. So now, probably better go and get a topic. <laughs> like, what? is this for yeah we need to move that crate we need to move this crate upstairs so we can do something with it some probably to reach a do and window or something and that or another kill uh, style thing but and was also one of the them only. Okay. Uh, yeah, bad reputation is extremely hard to shake for a company. It is possible. 
uh, Hello Games from uh, <coughs> uh, from uh, No Man's Sky managed to pull it off eventually. Um, where do we move it now? We didn't know that, but that's good to hear. Yeah, I per I personally really still don't really have an. In I just moved it back. Where Personally, I still have no real interest in getting No Man's Sky uh, simply because what they be, what they did was basically uh, a, a massive amount of uh, false advertisements to the point that it might count as fraud, in my personal opinion. So yeah, there's little chance that I'll be getting No Man's Sky until it, until it drops down in price to like 10 bucks or so. Yeah, I don't have interest in No Man's Sky either, but I feel like this is a game that's going to wreck my computer. Okay, like it, it's like, it, it, it reminds me a lot of Starbound, except probably way more bigger and more painful graphic-wise and uh, size-wise. Okay, what am I supposed to do with this fucking box? <laughs> do I move it upstairs? Do I move it to the side? I am wondering as well. And yeah, we also have the game Day of the Dragon. Oh, that. <laughs> uh, Sid Alpha has made multiple videos about that. Uh, for I people who don't know, it. Sid Alpha is basically the, uh, the successor to Total Biscuit. And he's a gaming journal, not really a gaming journalist, more like an independent gaming commentator. <laughs> Uh, who does, well, gaming news, mostly on developers and, well, their bullshit. Yeah. I'd, certain, I'd advise uh, giving him a, a look. His dirty ah. dev videos can get pretty funny at times. Oh yeah, he can be funny. And <laughs> infuriating with the kind of bullshit like the people of Day of Dragons pull. Yeah, and here's the thing, before I discovered Sid Alpha, I saw the first interview with, uh, with the developer on David the Dragon with the Gaming Beaver. And even there I noticed that uh, there was something about the developer's voice, that he sounded a bit, something sounded off. But I gave him benefit of that. But after all the things he has done, try to... Il Illegally ban people from the game that criticized him just because they criticized him. Yeah. And I think Steam got involved that when I saw talk to hear about the more more that uh, he is not allowed to do that for those reasons. Yeah, basically, people uh, people with more ego than skill are typically yeah. the ones that show up in there. Exactly, and he uh, even since then done more and more things. And one of the people that defended him the longest, I think it was Androme Andromeda, he stopped after a while for he even he couldn't defend him any longer. He had enough. And then here's the thing that even got worse. It was apparently related to Day of the Dragon. The developer? The, the developer was not involved here, but he was. In a way, the game is. His uh, Andromeda's dog had died. Apparently, someone had murdered it. And when they posted about uh, that, his dog has been murdered after a while. Since when well, he doesn't say that on the day when it happened, someone post. Maybe that would have happened if you kept uh, kept showing more Day of the Dragon. Yeah, you hear, the, you hear the problem there. Yeah, that's just trolls attacking other uh, assholes. Yeah. Doesn't make that's the first one, you know, doesn't make both sides uh, any less of an asshole. Yeah. Like, I feel horrible that someone just broke into his house and just murdered his dog. And then that happens? Like, come on. Yeah, the dog had nothing to do with all of his bullshit. 
Not that I'd advise uh, or, <clears throat> or support violence against people. Uh, anyways, now, where the fuck does this box need to go? And why the hell can I move this back and forth if there's no point to it? But yeah, I know what to say. Keep an eye out the game developers at times, folks. For it can get horrible at times. And I'm still surprised to this day how horrible it can get. Yeah. Where the fuck does this stupid box need to go even? This is the sewer access. I think I've been here. missing a clue. We need to do something with that box, or else we've been just wasting time. Like, do we need it to jump over a wall or something? But we should probably get the box up, then really look. If we we'll push it down all the way. Oh, I, th oh, I think I know what now what to do. Uh, or I have a suspicion that it needs to go down here for some reason because if we move the if we move the bridge aside now the box will fall fall down here okay yeah that's that still won't answer what the hell we need to do with it in the first place once it is there and yeah there's been no music for like 15 minutes or so in this place not true, but that also means we can hear each other easier. <laughs> yeah, but long, long pauses of in music is typically not a good idea for a game. Yeah. It broke. Did... Oh, like before, <laughs> it broke through the floor. <laughs> okay, well that's one way to access the sewers. Checkpoint. Checkpoint. How far in this level are we? Forty percent. Really? <sighs> okay. Gladly. Oh, this fool says the one walking up to a vampire with a butter knife. Some dignity can you have? Well, it's their mistake for attacking a freaking vampire. <laughs> so you impaled the horse. And an <laughs> another, f uh, another, <clears throat> another screenshot that could look like Kane just vomiting into a corner, <laughs> project of vomiting blood. Oh, and oh gosh, I just remember a thing. Uh. There was a very brutal method, as I think I recall, that he punished a certain type of criminal vagabonds called Rövare, which I think is Reavers in English. By. Yeah, if you remember, we punished them by shoving up a sob up their arse. Okay, I think I might have heard of things like that. Can that float? Can we? Oh yeah, that that is definitely going to float once we let the water in. That broken piece? Yeah, it, it's the most likely thing, unless there is something hidden in the dark here that I can't see. Uh, there's nothing hidden here. Yeah, I'm checking the recording now, and yeah, there's nothing there. Yeah, except the unicorn. So this is basically the timed uh, platforming puzzle, even well, even if it's not much of a puzzle to begin with. Uh, not that, that. Hmm. I just had realized something that I could see no. people get annoyed about this game. And that is, if the boss fights are like the first one. Yeah, if it's just going to be a drag-out uh, 
attrition battle. Yeah, then again, many of the bosses of the old games were rather easy. They, they were more of a puzzle thing, and hello. It's the news, is it? Yes. Your wish is granted, Serge. Vampires have attacked the slum station. All the wards in the area are down. You'll be facing the vampires at last. You're certain it's vampires? Use your wits. Ward gates only stop vampires. Why would a human shut them down? Could be humans working for vampires. Right. There's a house in the next street I've had my eye on. A widow lives there. Three daughters. Yes, I know the place. Those girls could be traitors. They could be working for vampires. Or selling goods in the black market. We should go question them. It's our duty. Do some searching. Thorough searching. I'll pass the word to the next station. Uh, of course, uh, and the motherfuckers goes through. Yeah, someone's eager to uh, die. Someone else is also eager to die. That sounds yeah, very concerning. Yeah. They're going to do cavity surges, if you get what I mean. I hope to expect that you two will have seen Mona Lisa on the wall. Okay, we have an upgraded weapon again. Oh, we're not. For a moment I thought of some Mona Lisa. <laughs> For a moment you thought that was the Mona Lisa? It, not that one, but the other one on the outside. If it, if it was Mona Lisa, I would just... Yeah. I know the moments of my list being... Surprised of when I was right. Okay. Trust me, people. You don't always want to be right. There are movements you want to be wrong. Save the children, support the Seraphim. Okay. You don't yeah, mind I if I do this? I think I made some time for some. Uh, you do mind. Time. Oh, and I completely overlooked that there was a freaking guillotine. <laughs> oh dear. Alright. Uh, save point. And they can't get to me. Not that they really had any trouble if I had to fight them, but okay. And, uh, oh yeah. It is almost time to end, so we might as well end the stream here then, I guess. Just fill up on both of these. Yeah, I'm sure what you can do on the two minutes. Yeah. Okay. Where is that save point? It's there. Wait. You, you just walk past it. It's running under your feet. It's, it's not activating again then, it seems. But yeah, if we save, we should end up here anyways with those two dead. And how far is that? Only 50%. This. Yeah, this is a going to be a long, boring level like this. Okay. Well. At, at the start of this stream, I was thinking, from if this continues like this, I will just abandon this game. But it, it might just be that it had a longer stable time there. But, yeah, for now at least, I'll be continuing with this game. Yeah, I, I just hope it works smoothly the rest of the game now. Yeah. Uh, I might actually... Actually, I might just, if I'm getting to have trouble with some of the bosses, 
uh, I might just look up how to beat them just so we don't have to go through the cutscenes again and again and again and again and again. Yeah, there is a video about how uh, that you fight all the bosses. Okay. I started watching it and I decided no, I will not watch the rest. So I don't want to be spoiled more. Okay. But for now then though, anyone who has been watching now, later on on YouTube, thank you for watching and thank you especially to Akira. Oh, you're welcome. And uh, tomorrow we'll be having something Sunday. I think instead of actually going alphabetical, I might just try a few games that I've been having, I've had my eye on for a while. Uh, just to see if they'd be not, they'd be a good idea to stream. So yeah, Tuesday we'll be continuing with this game, and maybe by then I'll have uh, a f <clears throat> maybe by then I'll have a uh, something to put this monitor on. I'll have to move my lamp a bit. Then it it's hanging from a, a post over here, so I, I just need to bend his neck. A bit more for it to work and yeah maybe I'll look into getting a s oh, I've had I have looked at getting a semi-professional microphone before and even that was pretty lousy in its quality so may maybe I'll ask Beanie uh, what the what model of microphone he uses because his his mic is very clear and oh yeah. Yeah, you've said it yourself. With this mic, it sounds like I'm talking over the freaking phone. Yeah, but it's, it sounds better today, actually. Oh. Yeah. I I am curious for his thing. On one of the stream I watched on uh, Twitch, it sounded like uh, you had a better mic than normal, way better before. Okay, and so that confused might... me. There might be something fucking ra with the quality or something. Yeah, but then the question is, why was the excellent quality on Beanie's video and not on yours? No clue, actually. Because I, I we're, we're using this, we're using the same program, Discord, and technically with uh, Discord Nitro now, I should be having better quality now than then. Actually, that could, could explain why it sounds better now. So, Nitro might be working for you. For you, all sound like you have a be better mic now. It sounds less like like uh, you're on the phone with me. Okay, but the diff it the hell something on the phone. That, uh, yeah, I I'll have to look around in the settings of this thing because it it came with its own program. Maybe it's just being iffy. Maybe something changed in it with an update. It doesn't really matter. But for now though, again, anyone's watching now later on on YouTube, thank you again. And until next time, but until then, until then. Be safe, folks.